Many remote locations across the globe are heavily reliant on expensive diesel fuel to supply electricity to their communities. That's all about to change. Hydro Tasmania has chosen Flinders Island for their unique hybrid energy hub project, launching the community onto the renewable energy map. The vision for Flinders Island was really born out of the success that we'd had uh, on King Island. We needed to come up with a more cost-effective, more rapidly deployed solution that we could take to many more communities across the globe. And so we came up with the idea of a modular and scalable system that could be constructed remotely in a factory location and then rapidly deployed on site and still yield the benefits of renewable energy in reducing the cost of power supply. One of the great benefits, I think, of, of doing this sort of work is that you get to work in local communities and you get to experience some of the lifestyle that that involves. Working for a renewable energy business, it's all about sustainability. And so we've really enjoyed being able to bring further sustainable practices to an island like Flinders Island, which is a you know, very beautiful location. People come here because it is still relatively untouched. It's not industrial. There's still great places to walk and visit and basically renewable energy just really fits that picture. We embrace our nature and try and use it to sustain us. The unique nature of the scalable modular system is the ability to test and assemble those systems and be sure that when they arrive on site they're going to work. Of course we need to get that equipment to these island locations. So we've designed them with a specific format in mind and that is the 20 foot shipping container. We could test it off site before it came um, to remote places like Flinders Island and then put it onto a boat and that boat took it all the way over to Flinders Island from Tasmania. We then truck it from that port to site and they are unloaded using a crane. It can go anywhere where we have ability to get a truck in there with a crane or a, or a side shifter. So our commissioning process should be a lot shorter because we've delivered a product that can be just plugged together and then commissioned. The shipping containers themselves house very specialist equipment, so they do appear uh, slightly different to a standard shipping container. These systems are hybrid in nature. They still contain traditional diesel generation technology, but they really limit its use to the maximum extent possible. So at the heart of the system is a sophisticated hybrid controller to connect and coordinate the activities of the renewables and all of the enabling systems. The cool thing about this is uh, the technology and the smarts behind it. The energy at, at 1500 RPM is stored in the flywheel. The flywheel sits there and provides beautiful system stability, uh, great frequency control, and essentially is there as the backup for the whole system. The flywheel and the battery picks up where the renewables and where nature leaves off. The system can be used at multiple scales from small communities to entire island nations. It's very, very flexible. Another key attribute of the system is the ability to essentially connect it to an existing power station with very little disruption. That's a great benefit to an existing operator. What we've done here is we essentially have a paddock next to the power station and prepared that site for the placement of the containerised systems. It's a very simple civil works. Six weeks ago, this was a greenfield site, grass on the ground. All the civil works was done within that time to the point where we've now got roads, two days to install the containers. Now we're looking at probably a month of uh, electrical wiring and the hub project will be finished and ready for commissioning. It's been exciting to see the transition from a fixed station infrastructure to something that's portable and adaptable to other remote area power systems. We've had some bad weather on, on the island Inches of rain fell every day, strong winds, and we still managed to keep that timeline to the six weeks of the Civil Works. We welcome any visitors, but particularly we will welcome visitors to see this project. We know it's a project that Hydro is pretty proud of, and we are too, to have it here on our island. And we hope that this can be translated to other isolated areas in the world. Now that we've completed the Flinders Island project, we're actively engaging with the utility market and also customers in mining and tourism sectors because we really believe we have something very valuable to offer in these remote locations. Remote area power stations could only benefit from cost savings, fuel savings, maintenance savings, system stability, continuity of supply. It's really the only way that you can integrate your standard old power station with renewable input.
This is the way of the future, the way we can connect wind, solar and diesel together. We can compete against the price of diesel in these remote locations, just massively expanding the applications across the globe. Hydro Tasmania looks forward to expanding this innovative project globally and working with remote communities towards their success. We invite you to explore how easily and effectively the Hybrid Energy Hub can propel your region towards a sustainable future.